um, hello students uh, while working in matlab sometime you need to store your data as a dot mat file uh, so that you may uh, store your results of the some operation or some simulation uh, and you can and you may be able to use them uh, in the future so for that purpose you must know that how you can store your results uh, in a in a dart mate file and how you can load the dart mate file for the future use so let me create some file save variable is dart mate most of the time from github or any other um, data source when you are working with your project you will see that there are some dart mate files with stored within the directory so you will be thinking that what are the purpose of these dart mate files so these dart mate files contain some uh, some important data that is required for the purpose to execute uh, the project properly so the dart mate file contain the content of variables like i have a matrix m that is equal to um 5 6 uh, 4 uh, 34 5 and 77 so this is the content of the matrix you can see uh, i'm going to save it as um uh, save um, dot mat so when i executed this uh, code i have got that i have a variable m with me now i want to save this into my directory what i will do is i will write save m variable m with the name m when uh, i you can see that this is the original directory Uh, where i am going to save this file there is no any uh, m dart mat file uh, but when i execute this code now uh, now you can see it a uh, dart mat file uh, has been created over here and the uh, icon of the dart mate file is such like such that uh, there is a shortcut file in your directory you can see that uh, this is some sort of variable uh, the name of that variable is m as we have stored the content of variable m is m so uh, you cannot open it over here you can uh, open it in matlab now let me tell you that how you can load this file so i'm going to clear all the content of the workspace so the workspace is clear and i'm going to clear all the data now i will tell you that how you can load this file i will write load and i will write the name of that variable and when i execute this you will see in the workspace the variable m will appear and it will contain the same uh, data which previously we have stored when i have executed this it has loaded and it contain the same data which we have previously stored within the variable m uh, the previously stored uh, data was 5645357 and this is 5645357 so you can store the uh, the content of variable into your directory through this process you have to save variable with some name and then you can load it with that specific name through which you have stored the data in your directory thank you so much uh, i will tell you some more basic things it are really really important for the completion of your project in matlab thank you so much